I'm tired. I'm tired of, of being horizontal. I didn't make seven figures till I got tired of the horizon. I'm ready to go up. I'm not looking for Mr. and Mrs. Sensitive. I'm not looking for Mr. and Mrs. Softy. I'm looking for Mr. and Mrs. I'm ready for change. Here we go. The only way to start making bold vertical moves and financial quantum leaps is you got to create new habits. Now, you can screenshot this if you're on the webinar, but I'm going to read this to you. And very seldom do I do this, but I'm going to break down a definition within a definition because I want you to understand how important it is that you change your habits. But first, you have to understand where your habits come from. Concentrate and focus on making a deliberate effort to create new habits. This is not just going to happen by like happenstance or, you know, um, this is this is something that you have to literally focus and do because think about it this is important you've been how you are for many 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 years you see what i'm saying you, you've been how you are for many 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 years if all you guys watching think for one minute that it's going to be extremely easy to create new habits you sadly mistaken some of you guys are 20 years old. That means you, you, they say basically a child, his personality and everything, it really starts to develop and shape and mold between the ages of seven and 13. In other words, in other words, you can have breakthroughs, don't get me wrong, but kind of how you are as a person, you know, outgoing versus reserve, play the front versus play the back. Between seven and 13, that's pretty much the personality type you're gonna have. Now, I know some grown people that say, Brian, I, I, I bust out my shell and hit them hard. You know what I mean? When I was 29, I get that. But in other words, you are however you've been for like the past 20 years. Some of you guys, 30 years. Some of you guys, 40 years. Some of you guys, 50 years. If you don't think it's going to take a concentrated effort to do some of the things that I'm about to tell you, you sadly mistaken. So what you got to write down, number one, before I give you these notes on how to create new habits and change them, you got to write down a concentrated effort. I must make a concentrated effort to create new habits. It can't be something you do over time. Everything I'm talking about right now happens at now o'clock. All right. Now, concentration is the act of focusing the mind upon a given desire until the ways and means for its realization have been worked out and put successfully into operation. Woo! That's some, that's some Napoleon Hill type stuff, just so y'all know. This is not, you know, this is not, uh, we're not doing Dr. Seuss tonight. This is Napoleon Hill type stuff. Concentration is the act of focusing the mind upon a given desire until the ways and means for its realization have been worked out and successfully put into operation. Now, Brian, let's break, Brian, break that down in layman terms. You know what's the most important part of this whole little synopsis I just ran down? Is until the ways and means of the desire have been worked out. In other words, here's what happens. When you really focus on something, do you know that the universe doesn't have any other form of operation but to open up and give you what you focus on? It doesn't work any other way. See, if you've been on your job 30 years, then you have obviously done the right things, which means you've been focused for a certain amount of time. So that's why you got the big plaque on the wall. You're in the Hall of Fame at the job. You got your little employee parking in the front. You know why? Because that's what you've been focused on. You see, if you have been married 50 years, 20 years, shoot, these days, 10 years, you know why you've been successful? Because you focused on your relationship. Now the ways and means for which, for which that desire to maintain that marriage, it, things start opening up to you. Other couples give you ideas. You and your wife or you and your husband start to communicate better. You might pick up a book, you know, the five love languages or, or women are from Venus and men are from Mars and all that good stuff. It's because you focused on your relationship. So now what happens is the ways and means for you to continue that desire and that journey, they start to open up to you. You know the problem with most people? You know why most of you guys don't get what you want and, and are not succeeding in, in where you want to be? It's one reason. 
you haven't chose to focus on personal growth and self-development yet. See, people say, Brian, how you always smiling? Why you always laughing? Why you always excited? Why you always moving? Why you always shaking? How you always make money? Easy. For 10 years, Brian focused on Brian. That, that's, that's just the bottom line. I'm just being honest with you. For 10 years, I focused on me. I had to focus on my shortcomings. I had to focus on my short temper. I had to focus on my habits. I had to focus on my impatience. Y'all think I'm impatient now, man. Shoot, you should have saw me. You should have saw me before personal growth and self-development. People that know me personally. Brian focused on Brian for about a decade. Okay? From 1997 to 2007, I focused on me. When I had a child, when I had my son in 2003, that's the first time in a long time I really opened myself up to anything other than Brian and business. Brian and business. Well, man, I bet you had some relationships that suffered. Yes, I did. I did. But here's the reality. You get what you focus on is my point. So if you focus on your relationship and your marriage, that's why you're successful. If you focus on your business, that's why it's successful. If you focus on friendships and hanging out and Kevin Durant's contract and free agency and the NBA and the NFL, and you know every score of every sports team and every statistic, then that's why you're successful in the barbershop. <laughs> that's why you can talk to everybody about the best athlete and why LeBron this and why Steph that and why Kevin Durant this and why the New York Knicks that. And it's because that's what you focus on. So you win the barbershop talk. Congratulations. That's going to get you a long way in life understanding that in the barbershop, you are the head dog. Kudos to you. If you watch a lot of reality TV and read the blogs all the time and you, you know, um, know about every every uh, reality star on every show, Housewives of New York, Housewives of College Park, Housewives of Madison County, uh, the little fat hillbilly girl, um, I don't even know, <laughs> all these little reality shows and uh, all of that, you know, the families with 18 kids and they got their own show. Then guess what? That's why you the reality superstar. And can't nobody talk to you about the blogs and nothing else because that's what you focus on. So my point to you guys is when you focus, congratulations, the ways and means of what you focus on will open up to you even more and your desire will become or will come a lot closer to you. That's just the bottom line. So you have to make a decision. <laughs> the fat hill girl. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The little girl. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about back in the day. Uh, that little reality show with the little fat hill billy girl. And, you know, she had a big following. So, congratulations. You are the reality superstar. 